In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace the inner tie rod end on this Volkswagen Beetle. Let's get into it. You should have a little center cap here that you need to take off. You want to use the straight blade screwdriver and just get underneath there, pop that off. This vehicle does not have that. Then take your hook and then find this hole right here and then just pull, pull the cap right off. It's just held on by those positions. Now you can access the lug nuts. Use the wheel lock key, find the wheel lock. Take that one off with a 17 millimeter socket. Then using the same 17 millimeter, we're gonna take off the lug bolts. Before I take the last one off, I'm just gonna support the wheel from falling. Take that off and pull the wheel off. I'm gonna loosen up this jam nut right here. Use a 7 8 wrench or a 22 millimeter. Just loosen that. Just using a pry bar, I'm gonna pry down on the outer tie rod to prevent the center stud from spinning. And then using a 19 millimeter socket, take the nut off. You can use a front end removing tool to separate the tie rod from the knuckle or just take a hammer, just give it a tap underneath. It should pop out. I'm just gonna use some locking pliers over here on the inner tie rod. Then take a 19 millimeter wrench and we'll loosen up the outer tie rod in. Now you wanna count the threads every time you go around once. So 17, I'll write that number down. Now I'm gonna take the jam nut off, use a 22 millimeter socket. Take the locking pliers off. Now I'll take this clamp off right here. Just use a pick. Try to get in there without stabbing the boot. And slide it off. And now I'm gonna take the inboard clip off of the boot, just using the same pick. Pull that clip off. And we can grab the boot, just give it a twist. Try to pull it off, pop that off. And I'm just using a tie rod tool, inner tie rod tool. I'm gonna to clamp it down and we'll loosen this up. There we go. Once it's loose, then you can do it by hand. Take the tool off. Slide it up. Just take this nut off for now. You put a little dab of thread lock adhesive on the threads. Then get this started. Take the correct adapter. And you want to torque that to 55 foot-pounds. And that's good. Take the tool off. Now we'll take the boot. I'm going to use a wire tie to attach this. If you want, you could try to reuse the clip or get a new clip. That would work. And just put a little grease on the end of this or also on the inner tie rod end, right in that area where it's gonna sit. And push it on. And now we'll just tighten up the wire tie. Make sure it's all around the right spot. Now we're gonna put a wire tie on the outside where the outside clamp would go, right here. 
Again, you can reuse the clamp if you want or get a new one, but this will work just fine. Just tighten it up and trim the excess. Now we can put the jam nut on. Now we'll put the outer tie rod in, in and make sure you count the turns. Do the same as what you counted before. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Now we can move the jam nut closer. Now line the tie rod up into the knuckle. Get the bolt started. Now I'm going to tighten this nut down. I'm going to use a six millimeter hex in the center to keep the stud from spinning and just tighten this down. Now we're going to torque this to 33 foot pounds. Now I'm going to snug up the jam nut. If you have the ability to torque this, you want to torque it to 15 foot pounds. Now put the wheel on, line it up. bolts in and the wheel lock key with the wheel lock. Just tighten those down. Now we're going to torque the lug bolts to 89 foot pounds in a cross pattern to tighten the wheel down evenly. Just go around, double check. Take the key off with the center cap, line it up. Push it on, and then if you have that little cap, you wanna put that little cap on. After finishing this installation, it's important to have an alignment done on your vehicle. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.